Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am doing my fall empties because the bag is now overflowing. <laughs> so that's when I know I have to film an empties video. So if you guys haven't watched my last one, this is only the second empties video I'm doing. But basically, I review all of my uh, products that I've used up and I really like these videos because if I've used up a whole product I have like a really good idea of whether I liked it or not and if I think you guys will like it so yeah let's just get started um, I'm just gonna pull whatever randomly so the first thing on top here is my Mac Fix Plus this is like pretty much my favorite setting spray that I've tried so far this one and the glow recipe one but that one's more like a um, a skincare product whereas this I think actually helps um, the wear of your makeup and not that I think it makes it last super long but for people with dry skin this makes you not look as cakey so if you put on like a really matte foundation or maybe you put too much product on one day if you put this on top it will just melt everything together and it makes it look really nice so I would repurchase this but I don't need to right now because I have three minis actually I have four minis of this so this one I'll just keep for back to Mac which is like I think you need to save up like five or six uh, products and you get to exchange it for a lipstick I'm pretty sure that's how it works anyway so I'm gonna um, keep this aside until I have some other MAC products used up um, the next thing here is my clean clean and clear um, lemon exfoliating slices so these were what do you call them wipes exfoliating wipes they were shaped like lemons so it was pretty cute and they were very big and had a lot of product on them um, I did like them but the only thing is the scent was way too strong and for that reason I won't be repurchasing these even though they're pretty affordable and there is uh, 45 pads in this jar um, yeah I just can't with the scent it was so strong like I would actually cough like when I was putting it on so yeah not going to repurchase those the next thing I see here is a um, deluxe size sample of the uh, Tata Harper regenerating cleanser this was like an exfoliating cleanser I don't know why I keep opening the product because it's empty you can't see anything but um, I'm not gonna like purchase this in the full size first of all because Tata Harper is like one of the most expensive skincare brands at Sephora I think the full size of this cleanser is like a hundred and eight dollars or something crazy it comes in like a big glass jar with a pump which is good but oh I needed that light for my face there we go so my computer screen is giving me lighting but anyway um yeah the full size comes in a big glass pump thing which is probably better than what this was so it was just in a jar so I had to like scoop it out with my finger which I didn't love and I kept it in the shower because that's where I exfoliate my face so yeah for that reason I didn't like that but also I feel like it didn't really do much the exfoliating particles were really sparse and I don't know it was just a really weird texture product and yeah so I mean I'm glad I didn't like it because if I did and if it was amazing I wouldn't want to have to spend a hundred dollars on a cleanser that's just crazy so yeah I finished that though this one here is a shower gel a big bottle I got this at Winners so, Winners in the States is what again? TJ Maxx. Yeah. This was the Citrus and Cinnamon Moisturizing Shower Gel 
from the company Herbario Toscano this year. Um, I've never, like, I don't know where else you could get this brand, but I actually did really like this. And it was only $6.99. I still have the price here, which is a really good price for, like, so much product. I do remember that this actually was moisturizing. Um, the scent, though, usually I love citrus and cinnamon. But as a shower gel, it was kind of weird. Like, it's, it was more like a food scent. I don't know. And for me, for like a shower gel, I want something more like refreshing or like, I don't know, sweet maybe. But yeah, it was a really good formula. So maybe if I ever saw this brand again in like a different aroma, I might pick it up. I think, yeah, this is another shower gel. This is from the brand Consonant. I got this at Sephora. It's supposed to be like an organic, yeah, organic body wash. And this one was, I think it was Sage. It doesn't say on here. That's really strange. But it was something like peppermint and sage or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. It just says scent. 002 so yeah but um i don't really remember much about this i remember liking the scent but this is 18 dollars for 250 milliliters whereas this one was 6.99 for 400 milliliters so this is pretty pricey i believe i did get this during one of the vib sales so i did like get a few dollars off but I don't think I would repurchase it just because I didn't love it and for the price if I don't love it I don't think I would get it again this one is the verb hydrating shampoo so this product mm, I don't know I didn't like it <laughs> um, unfortunately it's one of the cheaper brands that they sell at Sephora but, I mean, unfortunately, as in I would like to repurchase something that's cheaper. But I didn't like the scent of this, and I don't find it was hydrating. It was really good at cleansing my hair, but it left my hair very frizzy. And I thought maybe it's because I wasn't using it with the conditioner at first. But I did start using the two together, and I still didn't find it was hydrating. So... I'm not sure why it's called the hydrating shampoo. Maybe if you have really fine hair, it would be good because it wouldn't weigh it down since it's not that heavy. But for me, I need something more moisturizing. So um, I actually have two little minis. I have a mini shampoo and a mini conditioner of this so I did have some left but I poured it in those because I'll still use it like when I travel it's in my travel bag but I wouldn't repurchase this for like an every like a weekly shampoo this is another product from the clean and clear lemon line this was the zesty scrub it gently buffs and brightens with natural micro scrubbies it was oil free and with vitamin C. I actually really liked this. Um, yeah. The only thing I remember is that it's a very thick texture. Um, but I think it did pretty good for my skin because I don't remember like it making me break out or anything. So I might pick this up again. Um, if it was on sale and if like I needed another scrub right now I still have backups of other things to use but um, everything in this line has been pretty good except for the scent of those wipes but everything else I find is a really good option at the drugstore um, it's not that cheap though when it's not on sale like every product in this line in Canada at least is like uh, I think it's $12 which is a bit, I guess it's like a mid-range price for the drugstore. But because there's always sales on Clean and Clear, I wouldn't buy it at the full price. But yeah, I did like this. Oh, this was a hand soap from the brand Everyone. I think that's what it's called. Um, this is a 
line that you find at like a health food stores or like a natural product store um this one i think i actually got at whole foods um no i had one before from the same brand that i did get at whole foods this one i got at a like natural organic grocery store so it's a clean brand um it's made with plant extracts and pure essential oils and this one was ylang ylang and cedar wood um i did really like this it didn't dry out my hands um yeah but again i would try to find this when it's on sale it's a more expensive brand and i don't I was going to say I don't love spending a lot of money on hand soap, but the one I have in my bathroom now is way more expensive than this, so who knows. I just like a hand soap that doesn't dry out my hands and that smells good. So yeah, this one, if you ever see it, it is a good formula. This is my Kopari Coconut Oil Toothpaste. Um, I hauled this in one of my videos. I got it during the VIB sale. I actually did repurchase this, but the charcoal version, because I wanna try um, and see what the difference is, if it's like more whitening um, than this one, because I did like this. I'm not sure if it works as well as the Crest. Is it Crest or Colgate? I said this last time I talked about it. <laughs> It's in my bathroom now. I still don't remember. But it's the one called Glamorous White. And I need a whitening toothpaste because I drink a lot of coffee and tea. So, yeah. I'm hoping the charcoal one is a bit better for whitening than this. Because I would like to switch to a more organic, like, clean toothpaste. But I did like this. Um, the only thing is it's $18. Is it $18? i am pretty sure, yeah. So... The one I bought, I don't think it's been shipped yet, but I only paid like $5 for it because I got it at the Boxy, uh, the Boxy Charm pop-up store. I don't know what it was called, but everything was like 80% off, so I picked that up. So I hope that I like it, but yeah. This is the only deodorant that I use. It is the Secret pH Balance Unscented. So I don't think I've told this story in any of my videos before. But um, like a few years ago, I guess like two years ago now, I started getting like crazy reactions from deodorant. I literally had like cystic acne on my underarms and like down the side of my like torso and it was really weird and scary and I figured it was the deodorant I was using I was using which was like the lady speed stick one um so I was like okay well I don't know if it's this but I'll stop using it and I'll start using natural deodorant and <laughs> then I went through a period where I smelled terrible like honestly I smelled worse using natural deodorant than I do like without wearing deodorant at all. I don't know how that's a thing. But anyway, so I was like, I guess I have to go back to like regular deodorant, which I don't want to do because yeah, this one is an antiperspirant deodorant. So, you know, there's all that stuff. Yeah, the aluminum is not good for you, but I'm sorry, I smelled like a homeless person. <laughs> Um, yeah, I just did not smell good <laughs> using natural deodorant, so, uh, yeah, I went back to this because I figured at least if I get one that's unscented, maybe I won't have a reaction to it, and I haven't had any reactions since, and I don't smell anymore, <laughs> so that's my story about this secret pH balance unscented so if you're like me if you have really sensitive skin if you're having weird reactions to things maybe try this one out and see how you like it or let me know if you actually found a natural deodorant that works because i literally tried like five or six and they're very expensive and none of them helped this is a uh, sheet mask 
It's the Yes2 Coconut Ultra Hydrating Moisturizing Paper Mask for dry skin, blah, blah, blah. So it was just a one-use mask. Um, I'm pretty sure I kept this here because I really did like it and I wanted to remind myself that it was actually moisturizing because sometimes these moisturizing face masks, they don't actually really do much. Um, so I like to remember the ones that are good and this is like you can find it at the drugstore and if you're in the states i think they have this at like target and walmart and everything like that i think maybe they have it at walmart here too actually but anyway yeah this was a good face mask for dry skin and i love anything that has coconut in it so i really liked this oh see another coconut product this was the Sephora Coconut Water Cleansing Wipes. These, I really like these as well. Um, I don't know. Can you still get these? I'm not sure because I think these were on sale. But, yeah. But, again, I'm trying not to buy as much cleansing wipes. I, I actually bought um, off of Amazon the, those uh, reusable wipes. But I don't know if I got the right ones. I might talk about them in like an Amazon video or something because I've been buying so many things at Amazon. It's just like so convenient. I don't know why I only discovered that like a few months ago, but yeah, more to come on that. But yeah, um, so I'm not going to repurchase these because I'm not buying more cleansing wipe, but I did really like these and they did smell like a nice like fresh coconut scent, not like a fake like sweet coconut scent. My camera cut me off, but as I was saying, I have another bag of these Shiseido facial cottons. I had two bags of these in my last empties, so I think I'm using like way too many uh, cotton rounds, whatever you call these, which is an also another reason why I bought those reusable ones from Amazon. I actually bought another one from the Sephora line and those are like organic cotton but they're like this big so I cut them in half so those are lasting me pretty good considering I only use those for what was I? yeah for my um pixie glow tonic is that what it's called because I can't put that on the reusable wipe because it will just like absorb right into it. So I still need to use cotton wipes for like toners and things that you have to wipe on your face. But yeah, I don't think I'll repurchase these because I was also using the Quo brand, which is a Canadian brand that's at the drugstore. And those are cheaper than these and they were pretty much the same thing. So I'm not gonna repurchase these. This next thing is a dry shampoo. I'm not comfortable. This is the Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Texturizing Dry Shampoo. I did not like this. I got this um, when I was on vacation in Maine um, at Ulta. It was like one of the first things I ever bought at an Ulta because we don't have Ulta in Canada. And I just needed like a travel size because I forgot to bring mine. This was not good because you would want a texturizing dry shampoo to give you more volume and to make it look like you just washed your hair. But this like weighed down my hair. So I don't know who would like this because it doesn't do what it says. It doesn't absorb excess oil. And leaves no residue. No, it didn't leave residue. I didn't like the scent though. It was toasted coconut. But yeah, I'm not going to repurchase this. This was a deluxe sample of the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness Skin Relief Treatment Moisturizer. So this was a pretty thick uh, cream. I don't know why I'm trying to this to focus when this is not how the product looks anyway this is a mini like sample size but I did have enough in here to use for like several weeks so yeah but it is a thick cream um, I think it broke me out it's like I do have very dry skin but when products are too rich they just clog my pores and that's what this was doing I did use the whole thing but 
I wouldn't get the full size for that reason and it's pretty expensive I think it's like 60 something dollars for the full size of this so yeah I wouldn't repurchase this one this is another face cream it's the Ren clean skin care ever calm global protection day cream this brand Ren is really good if you have very dry sensitive skin and you don't care about like fragrances or fancy packaging or like extra things <laughs> because it's a very simple brand and all the products I've tried in this brand have like the same texture and scent and it's just like really weird because I don't know you would think that it like a cleanser would be different than a cream and a, you know but like the cleanser was the same this was the same it's all like this like white thick cream I don't remember this doing much which is my issue with like higher end skincare brands at Sephora if they don't like have visible results I will not buy them because skincare is already expensive and especially at Sephora so if it doesn't like do something amazing I'm not gonna repurchase it so I'm not going to repurchase this this was really good this was the Ulla Henriksen Transform Plus Goodnight Glow Retin Alt Sleeping Cream. So, um, this is obviously a mini sample size. But these minis, I get so much use out of them because I don't use a lot of product. Um, so they last me usually like several weeks and I can actually have like a full review on the product or like full thoughts on if I really liked it and know if I want to repurchase it so I really like these minis and I have a lot to go through because I have purchased like many Sephora favorite sets over the years and I still have some but this one this is a product so unlike the last one this actually did have visible results and I do want to get the full size of this but it's like $65 and I still have other creams to use but this was really good especially for the texture on my forehead I have a lot of bumps on my forehead and this I remember like visibly reduced them and my skin felt like super soft and smooth when I was using this so I really liked this and it smells fun too. Another skincare product, this is the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizing Cream. Looks like this. I don't know if they make this product anymore. I think they reformulated it. I think I like this. It was pretty like basic, like there was, I don't remember there being like any kind of aroma to it was like a gentle cream but I'm not gonna repurchase it because it's expensive and I didn't love it so there you go I just have two more things one yes this is a shower gel this was from a gift set I think that I got for Christmas it's the Victor and Rolf flower balm Bombalicious perfumed shower gel so it's the flower bomb perfume in a shower gel basically so I do love this perfume and this smells exactly like it um, but yeah I mean I don't think you get these kind of products on their own they usually just come in gift sets but I did like it obviously or else I wouldn't have wanted the perfume the last product is the only makeup product in this bag it's my hourglass um, arch brow volumizing fiber gel this is my favorite brow product I would repurchase it but I have the um, it's right here actually the essence make me brow so this is like less than five dollars and this is like $34 so but I do still really prefer this one so I'll show you the wand I showed this in many of my videos because it was the only brow product that I was using um, so you see how it's long on one side and short on the other 
and it was really good because with the short side you would like put the product in and then with the long one you could really like comb it out and like fluff up the front of your brow which is how I like my brows to be and I really like the color of this it was um, soft brunette it was a cool tone brown which is something that I need because if I put a warm brown in my eyebrows they end up looking orange so I really liked this but because I had already bought this one for a drugstore video um, I decided like I would just use this one up before repurchasing this one I do like this one I'm wearing it right now actually I like the color but I just don't think it's the same and I notice like my brows feel like a bit crunchy when I touch them but they don't actually hold that well so I don't know yeah I don't know and this is the brush on this one it's very skinny if you can see so and I really think the long side of that of the arch wand was really good so I'm not gonna repurchase this one but I don't know if I want to repurchase this one either just yet because it's $34 and I don't really want to spend that much on a brow product. That was everything in my fall empties. So as usual for the next video, I'll just film it when this bag gets full again. So whenever that is, that will be my next empties. So I hope you liked this video. I hope it was helpful. If there's anything you want more info on, don't hesitate to ask me in the comment section. And if you like this video, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!